from EcoModder, and we're talking today with Willie, who has the uh, shuttle craft Prius. We're going to talk about Pulse and Glide. Why don't we just start out with the basics? What is Pulse and Glide, and why do you want to do it? Uh, Pulse and Glide is basically a driving technique to maximize fuel economy. Uh, briefly, it can just be replaced by the words accelerate and coast. The basis of the technique is to accelerate to a given speed and then just allow the uh, car to coast as far as possible. That seems kind of counterintuitive though because a lot of people are taught that if you want to drive efficiently, you drive smoothly and you hold a constant speed. Uh, that's probably second best. Uh, in the Prius, however, uh, if you're able to use what's available, you can actually exceed what uh, your cruise control will give you. Because a lot of than in other cars is because... Okay. In the, the Prius, uh, first of all, the engine shuts off. The second reason is that... Um, so the secret to the glide is that the engine is off while you're The engine gliding. is off. Okay. And the second is that the uh, transmission in the Prius allows that. Uh, it's not recommended to do this in a regular car with an automatic transmission. Okay. Because some of them try to turn the engine off, you can damage the transmission. And the third is that you have the multifunction display, which will show you your energy readout, and you can tell the state of the engine uh, to some degree of uh, accuracy. So you know when the engine's off, right. when the engine's running. So talk us through what you're doing here. You're doing this all just with your right foot. Okay, what I did was I accelerated to 37 miles an hour. You can actually go up to 42 miles an hour. In my own experience with this car, 37 is kind of a sweet spot okay. where you get the maximum energy. And then you press the accelerator just enough so that all the arrows go off. If you press it a little bit too much, the electric engine will come off. If you let go, the uh, generators will come on. So you're holding your foot in so, just the right spot. Just the right so spot to you're turn coasting. Off. Nothing and else so is happening. Everything is off. And if you look over here on this display, you'll see the engine is going zero RPM. Right. Where I have my. So now we've coasted down to about 18 miles an hour. And now I'm going to accelerate. Now you want your acceleration to be as gentle as possible. Uh, in, in a Prius, you want this instantaneous MPG to be approximately equal to your speed in miles per hour. So it's 27, 29, mm -hmm. we're now doing 30. And how do you know that? Is that just because You can some... just watch, the, that, that, that's, but that's just something people, people found out? People figured out where the maximum efficiency is. And you can... Uh, and you get up to again about 30... You get up to 30, 37. You can do it at slower speeds. Yeah. Or you can do it at a maximum of 42. About 42, the uh, gas engine will not shut down. So you just let go of the pedal, and then you pressed it again, and now we're coasting. And now we're coasting. The engine's yeah. off. The engine is shut off. And you're getting infinite MPG. For, for the duration of this coast. Is this... Is the, is the gliding with infinite MPG reason that pulsing glide is so good compared to driving at a steady speed? Yes, and it works better in a Prius because of the aerodynamic efficiency of the Prius. So this coast goes for a quite So a, a car with a lot time. of drag would it, coast it, a, lot a shorter coast. time? Yeah. Okay. So have you compared pulsing glide to regular driving? I, I did several runs uh, doing pulse and glide and then doing a a uh, cruise control at the same average speed. Did it make much of a difference? At lower speeds, uh, Pulse and Glide was considerably better. As you got upwards uh, of uh, 30 miles per hour, uh, the difference started to narrow. It was almost insignificant. Okay, so we're up at 37 again. You let go of the pedal, the motor stopped, and now we're just coasting in neutral. Right. So the secret of why the Prius and hybrids are so good at this is because it's all automated. You let go of the pedal, the motor stops, yeah. the transmission effectively goes into neutral, and then when you want to start it up again, you just have to move your foot. Correct. The 30 miles. So you can you can uh, pulse, you can coast as slow as you want. Uh, who knows what the lower limit is? The lower limit is your patience and how soon you want to get somewhere. Yeah. So I usually do about 20 miles per.